Four, Welcome to King Lizard on two, Xbox One, one with Codemasters go. Dirt Caution Rally and this is the second stage of the Grease Rally and I'm still driving that Alpine A110 and it's pretty much the same surface as last time so it's kind of you know dust straight gravel so it's quite a loose surface starting to get a little bit more used to this car although this particular track is obviously new to me as of right now so it'll be interesting to see how I get on with this really very kind of um, dawning view up ahead lots of trees around it's going to get quite confusing on this one I think I'm a little bit too close to this wall here I need to get myself away from that one. I'm going to take some severe damage now some real big old bumps there, Jesus. Get myself over those, and it's tight. Right hand, left hand, I should say. And then over the bump. Not much of a bump, that one. The view is quite difficult here because there's so many trees around. I'm not really seeing until I get into these sorts of areas what's going on. And it gets, you know, really is a bit of an assault on the senses when those trees are left and right because you can't really see too much of what's ahead. Obviously, I'm listening to. Oh shit, big accident. Not good. I'm listening to the uh, co driver, and that's how I'm steering through these things and, uh, with the speeds that I'm doing it. But uh, it's not always helping. No. I think I've got some kind of squeak going on. I reckon that's a brake rubbing or something. Some damage I took. Now when you start, or at least when I started this second race, I'm pretty sure that the damage present from the first stage was still present on this car. So my so it seems that there's probably going to be a repair cost at some point during this particular rally. So I guess I'll find out on stage three or just before stage three. We shall see, but I just hope I've got enough money to repair this thing because it isn't sounding too good at the moment, and I've really given it a couple of plats on this circuit already. Now this section here, quite a fun section, real fast little section here. Got to be really careful not to go too quick, or I'm not stopping if I get a tight corner like this one. Ah, oh, lovely. Nice to pull her in. Bit of a slight left hander there, nothing too drastic, bit of a bump coming up, doesn't look too bad, no, easy life, and real tight right hander here, not too bad, a little bit out of control there near the end when he hit that uh, crash barrier, and then a bit of a right hander again there, I've lost control, I'm going, oh shit, I've gone off the track, <laughs> that's not so good, so that's an instant 14 seconds on my time. Not doing so good here. I'm falling quite a way behind the leader of this rally, which is obviously an AI. Um, difficulty wise I'm playing this first playthrough on normal and to be honest it is you know it's pretty challenging on normal for me anyway. Um, I'm not finding it that easy. I am using pretty much everything automatic. Oh screwed up again, straighten of the trees. So I'm not manual gearing or anything at the moment, to be honest, it's a bit too much for me with all this going on and manual gearing and stuff, I don't think my full brain can take it. So uh, I'm just going with the, manu the uh, automatic gearing and everything for now. Oh, I've righted myself again, how the hell did I do that? This car <laughs> might not survive much more, I'm not sure if I'm going to finish this event the way I'm going. But you can see what I mean about these trees kind of left and right. You can't really see a whole lot of what's going on. Oh. Gee. Oh. Sorry about that. It's uh, pretty tough driving and talking in this kind of, or in these kind of conditions. So that was a jammy little crash back there I managed to recover from. I don't know how quite, but uh, I won't complain. I'm getting caught a little bit on the walls here, getting some damage. Really, really fast section, it's really brutal. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I've hit a tree. Shit, and I can't reverse. So I've had to restart on the track. That's the other good thing about this game, there is a restart. It can be a bit slow though sometimes. It can be a bit frustrating sometimes, that reset to track button. But it's there and you pretty much get an average of sort of 15 second penalties for coming off track and using it.
um, which really at normal is going to put you out of running. But at least it's there because there are some games, oh no, some games out there that don't have resets. I mean, Forza Motorsport, for instance, doesn't have a reset. Has a rewind, of course, in Korea, but no reset button, which is a bit of a nightmare on mine because you go upside down and you're kind of stuck there. Anyway. Real tight left-hander coming up here. Nice open area though for me, so that's pretty cool. Boost it through this next section. Got a bit of an elongated left and then a tight right. Slowed her down a little bit there. A little bit slidey, but nothing we can't handle. Into a rather minor corner. Just missed that rock there. That was so close. And then some really shallow corners with some tight ones coming up. I'm getting near the end here, I'm looking at that progression bar on the left. Okay, I'm going to flat this out, take a chance, yep, we're good, excellent. That was pretty good fun, but I definitely haven't done a great time. I'm actually cringing here, waiting for the result. Oh, fifth place. Not so good, I think the less said about that, the better. <laughs> I obviously will have to do better on my next playthrough, but uh, that isn't going to do me any good for my podium placing so far anyway, because I think so far I've got a fourth and a fifth on the first two events. Might be two fifths actually, I might be wrong. But it uh, be interesting to see what happens next in the career, whether it's like your typical Conor McRae game of old, where you, you know, do a couple of stages, then you pay for repairs and stuff, and do new setups and stuff, depending on what weather and what uh, surfaces you're going to come up against. Now, this game does have configuration side of things. I did see that online um, with some other vids that some of the other preview guys were doing. So you can, you know, set up your car and stuff. It's got quite a um, in-depth setup for the car if that's what you're into. You don't have to know what you're doing though because if you don't want to screw around setting up your cars which to be honest with these sorts of games I generally don't even though I spend hours playing around in Forza um, I find that most games outside of Forza I don't really bother with tuning or setups at all I just go with the flow so in this case I'll let my crew chief who basically is the chap that manages your vehicle <laughs> bloody launch there look at that and uh, the computer's crew chief will set your car up for you and you don't even have to worry about it. So that's probably the safest bet. Sometimes he's probably going to get it wrong though, I suspect. Um, just to punish us a little bit for being lazy and not getting in the configuration screens. There might be an achievement for configuration as well, in which case there is. I guess I'll have to dabble at some point, but if I don't need to, I won't be visiting it. It's just not something I get into with these rally games. I just like to drive the car's core and uh, enjoy the experience more than anything else. I like to spend more time driving than I do configuring in these games. But uh, they've definitely done this proud as a return to Dirt Rally and it's just great to see this franchise return to its core or its original state which was pure 100% rallying. And the original Dirt on um, Xbox 360 as in you know, this wave of consoles, if you like, um, was actually a pretty good game. Easily, a, you know, an eight out of ten. Title two, Dirt Two was even better, although it did have a bit of a distancing from Rally as well, because there were rallies, but there were also some other types of events that kind of steered away some of the focus on Rally. But it was still a very good game, and. Dirt 3, I'll be honest, I haven't spent a whole lot of time with Dirt 3, and it wasn't because I couldn't get on with it, I was actually driving okay with the Jim Carner and stuff, I just, it didn't really interest me, um, you know, for me it was just too far a deviation from the proper rallying, uh, I will play it through at some point, but I don't know, right now, you know, I'm quite content with Dirt Rally coming back and its core cool and what it should be which is you know, a really, really good rally game. So checking out this replay still. Can't remember, yeah, that was me coming off track again. I figured there was another accident or two coming up. But uh, some really, really lush views when you get these replays and stuff. Looks really, really cool. And the in cars and stuff are great. The you know the close ups are pretty cool. There I go flying off the track. This is where I write myself. Jesus, I still don't know how I did that. 
kind of slid along sidewards and then I think I bounced the top of the car on a tree and it kind of knocked me back over. It was a bit of a donk, that's for sure. Lose it here, or oh, just regaining control. And you can really see the sort of amount of effort that's going into keeping this car under control as well on the replay. You know, all of the steering adjustments that I'm making while I'm driving, the road effects and the way the road feels is fantastic. You know, I've never felt a road level or track level as in-depth as this or as detailed as this in terms of the way it feels. Brilliant, brilliant design. And the damage model is really good too. You know, I've done a little bit of damage so far, but it all, oh, there you go, another tree hit. But, um, you know, the car damages at a you know, slow-ish rate depending on how badly you drive it, obviously how much damage you do. It, it's right quite a respectable damage mechanism these guys have put into the game and uh, it just adds to the excitement of playing something like this, or at least that's how I feel anyway. So, replays coming to an end shortly. I'll take this opportunity to thank you guys and girls for watching. I will be back with stages 3 and 4 of Greece in the not too distant future plus plenty of other gaming action and goodies on King Lizard's Game Lounge. Please take the time to rate the video if you haven't already, and if you're not a subscriber, it'd be fantastic if you could click that sub button for me and support King Lizard's Game Lounge. I'll take this opportunity to say farewell, take care, and keep watching. To left three and right four half long and left five and right six sixty keep left over crest 120 to finish